Hello viewers, as I promised you, we are not going away again from our lessons. Welcome all to our today's class and the topic of discussion is unit of believers. We're going to look at the assembly of God. Remember, we are in that topic of symbolic expressions, right? Symbolic expressions of unity of believers. We, so far we have discussed the body of Christ, we have discussed the church, right? I don't know, we have looked at the, 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 the body of Christ, good. The people of God, right? The vine and branches, and now today's class, we will get to the assembly of God. We we'll get to know who is the assembly of God, right? Who are these people termed as the assembly of God? Welcome all, and let us learn. Your channel you're watching is a link TV, your favorite learning channel. Now, class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to discuss who the church is according to the unit of believers, right? Who the church is according to the unit of believers. Can we get now to the church or the assembly of God? Now, the church is also known as the assembly of God. Now, can we get to open uh, our Bible, Ephesians 5, chapter, uh, sorry, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21, to verse 32. Now we get to look at who is the church, right? We get to look at who is the church. And we have said the church is an assembly of God. Now, remember, the church is a Greek word. Ecclesia, right? Ecclesia is a Greek word. Now the church is derived from a Greek word known as Ecclesia, which means people who belong to the Lord. Yes. A church is not a building, right? Church is not a building. That building, you see, is not what we call the church. So a church simply means the people who belong to the Lord, right? You are the church, right? If you believe in God, if you belong to God, then you are the church. Now, assembly of God is the coming together. You assemble. Can we all assemble here? Right? When you are at school, uh, doing assembly, you are being told, can we assemble? Right? That's the same thing. The assembly of God is the coming together of people of diverse social and cultural backgrounds who recognize lordship of Jesus. Remember, in school, in a school setup, the teacher on duty always tells us, can we all assemble? When we get to assemble, all the form one, the form two, the form 3, the form 4, the form 5, form 6, grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, right? They get to come together. Those are students from diverse classes, right? From social, diverse social and cultural backgrounds. They have assembled, same to the church, same to the assembly of God. They are people who have come together, of the, uh, people of diverse social and cultural backgrounds, who recognize lordship of Jesus. Good. Oh yes. Now, the church is likened to the relationship between a husband and a wife. Oh yes. The husband and the wife always come together. Good. So the church is likened, or the assembly of God is likened to the relationship between a husband and a wife. Christians are the church. Now, they are expected Expected to be united to Christ just as a husband and wife are united in marriage. Now, what unites a husband and wife? You cannot just say she is my wife. You cannot just say he is my husband my husband, right? You must be united in marriage, same as to the church, right? They are united with Christ, right? Just as a husband and wife are united in marriage. Now, just as husbands and wives are expected to love one another, to so too are Christians called upon to express love to one another and to love God. Right? They are, they are expected to show that love to one another. A husband is the head of the family. Jesus is also the head of the church. Just as the husband is the head of the family, so as Jesus Christ is also the head of the, of the church. Now, uh, uh, class, we have looked at the church or the assembly of God. We have, been, we have said that the assembly of God is the coming together, right? The coming together of people of different diverse social and cultural 
background, but also they must be united in the Lordship of Jesus Christ. For assignment, can we get for assignment class? For assignment, let me get you an assignment on your screen. Good, that is it. There it is. The church is derived from the Greek word called, right? Where can we derive the church from? From the Greek uh, uh, word, uh, word of, uh, uh, meaning of, of the church, right? And for reference, get referred to a Calvi, Christian Religious Education, book free, the third edition. And as always, this is the Link TV, your favorite learning channel, where you all get to watch and learn. Get in touch via contact address on your, on your screen, as always. This was your teacher, Roger Michira. Let us keep watching Illumi TV for more lessons. Bye-bye for now and see you in the next lesson.